What's up guys? I am your friend Anup Kamat. Welcome to Chomping Champion. Today we are in Noida. We are standing in sector 50 main market of Noida. We have come to a restaurant called Kalpak restaurant which you can see right behind me. We have come here to taste a unique dish and also they have quite a few interesting starters and other dishes. So let's go in and check. Come, let's go. If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please like the channel and click on the red subscription button and also click on the bell button so that whenever we upload a video, you get a notification. Be with us and watch the video till the end. Kalpak restaurant offers an interesting and diverse menu. It has got an Indian section as well as an Oriental section, but uh, we are focusing only on Indian section. So we have uh, ordered actually they have recommended two starters one is called the chicken gandari kebab which is basically chicken mince uh, which is wrapped around uh, on a sugarcane stick uh, now that's a new thing sugarcane stick and uh, deep fried so you have a crispy uh, exterior uh, it actually really looks like a lollipop and we have something called kulfi kebabs uh, I think these are chicken legs uh, which are marinated and uh, roasted or grilled but uh, that's inside the wrap. We'll open that later. Uh, so uh, let's have a bite of this uh, kebab and see. Mm. After this quite interesting, you can see the sugarcane stick which is quite broad inside the kebab. The chicken mince is mildly spiced. It's uh, properly wrapped around the sugarcane. I don't know whether I can get a taste or slight sweetness from the sugarcane, but uh, when I take a bite, it certainly is interesting. It's quite crispy on the exterior, but uh, the contrast of the softness of the uh, lollipop itself and the out and the exterior, the crunchy exterior is quite interesting. Mm. You can now see the sugarcane stick properly. So now we'll try the kulfi kebabs. Uh, let's open one and see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, here it is. You can see uh, a plum leg of chicken. Uh, I think, yeah, I think uh, it's it's marinated in I think cream and spices, so it's quite fragrant. Uh, but it's quite hot, and there is little bit of uh, the juices, the gravy at the bottom. So I'll use a fork and try this. Wow. It is so succulent and moist. You can see all the juices on the chicken and which, which have accumulated at the bottom. Uh, when I just cut it, like it just came off in the bone and there is some juice which has accumulated uh, right here in this foil. We'll taste that later, but first the chicken piece. It is like a malai tikka. I mean, there is of course cream, and uh, I can also taste kasuri methi in this. The chicken piece which I ate was perfectly cooked. 
I think it has been cooked in a tandoor and or probably a grill. But uh, the primary taste is of uh, the cream and uh, kasuri methi in which uh, the chicken leg has been marinated. It has been marinated perfectly uh, to to perfection. Uh, it is so moist and succulent, and and the tastes are mild, but uh, they are damn good. We have finished both the starters. The starters, uh, the chicken gandari kebab and the kulfi kebab, both were very well cooked. Uh, the taste was intact and almost perfect. Uh, so we have ordered the main dish and we have ordered for chicken bamboo biryani. Yes, chicken bamboo biryani. That is what we came here for. Uh, now, we have tasted the chicken bamboo biryani in Kerala. Uh, probably if you check this link up, uh, you will see uh, what we ate there in Kerala. Uh, this is also available in Odisha and in some parts of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. But we don't know uh, chicken bamboo biryani is uh, served anywhere in Delhi. If you know about any restaurant which serves chicken bamboo biryani in Delhi, please write in the comments below. Uh, we'll be happy to check out the joint. Like we saw in Kerala, uh, the chicken bamboo biryani is made uh, like this. Uh, the rice and the, and the meat are cooked uh, separately uh, in, in a different vessel and they're assembled in, in the bamboo and then steam for some time so that uh, the rice and the meat soaks up the flavor of the bamboo. Now, uh, I don't know whether bamboo gives uh, any additional health benefits, but uh, Cooking in bamboo is uh, prevalent throughout Southeast Asia. But for us uh, who are in Delhi or Bombay, uh, bamboo is an underrated plant. Uh, we don't eat uh, bamboo shoots or the, the flowers which bloom, I think, once in 12 years or 14 years. Uh, they make a floor of the flowers and make ladu and they make uh, various kind of dishes, uh, which are alien to us. But uh, if you go to Northeast or even if you go to Goa, you can see prevalent use of bamboo shoots in many of the dishes. So you saw how beautifully they served the bamboo biryani. Uh, this is the bamboo in which uh, they got the biryani. And uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of biryani. I think two people can share it. They served the biryani on top of the salad. The salad has, uh, I think, onions, uh, cabbage and uh, uh, carrots. Uh, it's served along with a raita and a gravy. And of course, the pickled uh, uh, onions are there. So I'm, I'm taking a little bit of chicken, uh, a boiled egg, a little bit of salad, uh, the gravy and the reta. When he was just uh, taking a piece of the chicken, I saw the chicken piece uh, just came out of the bone, which uh, means that it has been perfectly cooked. Mm. 
the biryani has got uh, uh, its flavors right. It's a it's a long grain rice, but uh, I can't really spot uh, whether it's a Lucknow biryani or it's based on a Hyderabad biryani, or probably it's our own Delhi biryani. So uh, uh, the fact that it is well cooked, the flavors are nice. The chicken is well cooked, uh, makes it an interesting dish particularly when it's served from a bamboo. Yeah, the gravy is also, I think, uh, it's not like salad, it's, I think it's like a chicken gravy. So, uh, there's enough, I think, uh, uh, there is enough biryani for two people to share. They have added uh, plenty of mint leaves and uh, once you take few bites of the biryani the prominent flavor which uh, uh, you get on the on your tongue is the flavor of the mint check for our ratings here after taking a few bites uh, the taste of mint lingers on your tongue because there are plenty of mint leaves they've added during the cooking also, the spices are mild, as I mentioned. It was throughout uh, uh, in our starters and the main dish. Uh, the gravy is also mild. The raita is quite right. So, uh, if you come to Noida and come to Sector 50, visit Kalpak and try this bamboo biryani and also the Ganderi kebab. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share, subscribe and press on the bell button to get all the notifications. See you till the next video. Bye. Take care.